Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the War Within pre-patch and what you can expect from this pre-patch which will be launching later on this year. Uh, the War Within obviously being the next expansion to World of Warcraft and this pre-patch has a ton of awesome evergreen changes that for some people is going to make the game a ton better. But before we jump into all of that I just want to thank the sponsor of this video and that is Manscaped. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global men's lifestyle brand that is revolutionizing the landscape of men's grooming. The product we're going to talk about is the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra from Manscaped. This package comes with a bunch of new products, but let's start off by talking about the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra Electric Trimmer. The Lawnmower has next-gen dual skin-safe blade heads and an updated trimmer blade and interchangeable foil blades for enhanced performance. It's also charged through USB-C and is still waterproof. The performance package also comes with a ear and nose trimmer called the Weed Whacker 2.0 and two things to elevate your skincare routine, the Crop Soother and the Crop Preserver. And when you purchase a performance package, you'll receive two free gifts. The first one is Boxes 2.0 and these are not your regular boxes, they're designed for ultimate comfort and style and come with the Jewel Pouch. And the other gift is the Shed 2.0, which is an amazing bag to keep all of your grooming gear organized and ready to roll. So join the 9 million men worldwide who have put their confidence in Manscaped for all things grooming and hygiene. Head over to manscaped.com to get your hands on the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra today. And when you use my promo code MRGM, you get 20% off and free international shipping, plus those two gifts I mentioned. That's 20% off plus free shipping and the two gifts with the promo code MRGM at Manscaped.com. Manscaped.com. Trust me when I say it, your bulls will thank you. Right, so yes, the War Within pre-patch is currently scheduled to be launching this summer, and there are a ton of awesome changes that we're going to get in this pre-patch that are confirmed as of right now. We're not in alpha yet, so obviously once we get into alpha, we'll have a little bit more knowledge on what we can expect from the pre-patch, but from all the information at BlizzCon and obviously now the 2024 roadmap, we've got a pretty good idea of what to expect from the War Within pre-patch. So let's just jump into it. The first thing is going to be a world event. There's going to be some sort of pre-patch event for the War Within. Obviously, previous pre-patches included like you know invasions around Azeroth and bosses in Ice Crown and things like that uh, so we could probably expect something like a Nerubian invasion from the Nerubians of Kaz Algar uh, probably some catch-up gear probably some leveling potentially and of course we can always expect some new transmog and mounts no doubt the pre-patch event will be pretty enjoyable of course and will involve the whole of Azeroth which I always really enjoyed uh, when they did stuff like that so yeah obviously no information as of right now but we know it's happening and that's pretty much all we know. The next feature you can expect in the War Within pre-patch is Warbands. Yes, Warbands are coming to the game in the pre-patch of the War Within, and this is by far my favorite, most hyped feature of the War Within. So essentially this is account-wide everything. A lot of the different systems of World of Warcraft will be going account-wide across all of your characters on your account. This is not limited to any amount of characters, this will literally be across your entire account. Some of the systems you can expect to go account-wide in the War Within pre-patch uh, are things like the bank. There'll be a new account-wide bank, so there's no need to ever mail yourself anything ever again. This also includes reagents, and you can craft from the account-wide storage as well, which is fantastic. So you could farm a bunch of reagents on one character and then use them on the next. I love that so much. Uh, the other one for me, this is by far the absolute biggest one, is transmog. So as of the Wolverine pre-patch, you will be able to collect all transmog across all armor types. So let's say you're running a legacy dungeon on your hunter and a piece of plate drops. Obviously, as of right now you cannot collect that plate armor but as of the war within pre-patch that plate armor will be added to your collection you had the drop on your account so that means you can collect it which is fantastic this goes across all armor types and weapon types and everything this is going to change the game for transmog collection of course i can't wait for this feature it's going to be amazing. I wish they'd add it now. Honestly, it's it's so good. Another thing you can expect from Warbands is account-wide reputations. Now, there's a bit of a caveat here. Uh, a lot of people think this is going to be all reputations. This is not the case. This is actually starting with the War Within reputations and working backwards, starting with Dragonflight. Now, there's obviously a chance that we will get account-wide Dragonflight renowns as of the pre-patch, but that's yet to be seen. Uh, but yeah, this is going to start with War Within reputations and work backwards. So we're not going to get, you know, Thorium Brotherhood account-wide as of the pre-patch, but we 
will get it eventually. And that's kind of the thing that they said to us at BlizzCon. But yeah, kind of work in progress, I guess, the reputations. But definitely one of the features I'm looking forward to the most. Uh, another thing we're going to get is achievements. So all achievement progress is now account-wide. Obviously, we have some achievements which are account-wide. But as of the pre-patch, all achievement progress will be account-wide, which is fantastic. Uh, another thing we're going to get is flight paths. Flight paths will also be account-wide as well, which is really great. Just a very simple thing that's going to be really handy on all of your alts. Warbands also bring in a new item type called Warbound Till Equipped. So the way that these items work is that you can't sell or trade them, but you can give them to your own characters. Now, obviously, through the bank system that I just mentioned earlier, we're likely not going to see any of these until the War Within, but there is definitely a chance that they could add these to the world event to get some catch up gear on your alts. So, yeah, I thought I'd mention them, but yeah, probably not going to be able to see those uh, until the War Within actually launches. Uh, one thing as well you're going to see with Warbands is that you're going to get a brand new login screen. Uh, this is going to be so handy for jumping across alts. So really it's just an aesthetic change here. You can have four characters on your login screen just sitting around a campfire and all of these characters could be on different realms. Uh, and yeah, it just seems like a really nice way to be able to jump between characters without switching realms all the time. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be something that will probably evolve. I think they said this is a concept art. Probably see this evolve as we go into alpha and then beta and then obviously into the pre-patch. So that's pretty much it with Warbands. There is also Delves are going to be a part of the Warband. They're going to be account-wide as well. We could get Delves as a world event as well, like as a pre-patch event. It could get like an old school Delve. I don't know, but yeah, Delves are also going to be a part of that, but that's probably going to be likely a War Within feature, of course. The next feature we can expect from the War Within pre-patch is Dynamic Flight. So this is essentially Dragon Riding, but this is the new version of Dragon Riding, the evergreen version of Dragon Riding. So the way that this works, as we believe, is that you will be able to switch between Static and Dynamic Flight through a toggle in your spellbook. This will kind of give you an aura that will say, like, all of your mounts are now Static, or all of your mounts are now Dynamic. Static Flight being the kind of Burning Crusade regular flying, and Dynamic being the Dragon Riding kind of ability active flying. As of right now, in patch 10 to 5, there are 171 flying mounts which will be able to do dynamic flight as of the pre-patch. I'm going to list them all on screen. There's no way I'm reading them all out. I actually did a TikTok list them all out, so you can go watch that if you like. But yeah, 171 mounts as of right now. Uh, also, druids will also have dynamic flight as well. So I would imagine that's affected by that static and dynamic switch as well. But yeah, druids will be getting dynamic flight uh, as well as all of those mounts as I listed. The dragon riding glyph system also is shifting into a evergreen system. Uh, that's pretty much all they've said about it so we'll probably see more of that once we get into alpha but presumably it will be something that's just going to be kind of account wide once you've done it you've done it we'll see what happens with all the abilities there with uh, dynamic and static flying but dynamic flying uh, is going to be coming in the pre-patch Another feature you're going to see in the War Within pre-patch are guild updates, and this includes cross-realm guilds. Yes, cross-realm guilds are coming in the War Within pre-patch, so you'll be able to join all of your friends' guilds from all across the realms. Now, I don't know if this is also going to come with a ton of different changes to like the auction house and things like that, that's yet to be seen, but we know for a fact that cross-realm guilds are going to be a massive feature in the Wolverine pre-patch. So yeah, get ready for that. That's a pretty exciting change, honestly. I can't wait to join my friend's guild and not have to move to their, you know, silly dead realm or something like that. It is nice to see that like realms as a concept are kind of going away uh, as we go into the War Within. Another thing you can expect from the pre-patch are any class changes. So any War Within class changes uh, will come in the pre-patch. Uh, as of right now, we don't really know what these are specifically, but obviously when once we get into the testing phase, we will know some of these class changes that are going to be coming. I'm not sure if there's going to be any sweeping changes, but again, that's yet to be seen. The hero talent system is a feature of the War Within, and that will start at level 71. So we won't be seeing that in the War Within pre-patch. You could probably open the UI and see it, but yeah, you won't be able to pick any hero talents until we start actually leveling uh, when the expansion launches, which is a perfect little segue to talk about the leveling changes. So as of the pre-patch, we will actually get Dragonflight as the default leveling experience from level 10 it seems so from level 10 to presumably level 70 we can level through dragonflight and new players will go through the dragonflight leveling experience starting in excel's reach going into dragonflight which will be a really weird thing at the start but eventually it'll make sense i guess uh it's similar to how battle for azeroth ended up being the you know default leveling experience speaking about for azeroth that will obviously be added to chromie time as one of the options for players to level through if they choose and drag evokers will also now start at level 10 as 
because of the War Within pre-patch. So if you want to get some boosted Drakthir Evokers, go and make a ton of them right now because, yeah, as of the pre-patch, any new Evokers will start at level 10. And the final kind of major change that we can expect from the War Within pre-patch are interface updates. There's a couple of little interface updates coming in the War Within, including the Spellbook. Uh, so the Spellbook is going to get a massive overhaul. This has not had a change since forever i'd probably think it looks like it's being added to the talent and specialization ui you can see down in the bottom there the tabs uh, and the spellbook will be a part of that presumably the keybind will still open it uh, but yeah it looks like it's going to be a part of that ui uh, this is the image they used at blizzcon to show us kind of a concept of what it looks like sounded off in the comments what you think i think it's pretty big there's a lot of blank space here but again just a concept i guess we'll see more uh, obviously once we get into uh, testing of course and being able to actually fiddle around with this the final update to the ui that we know as of right now is the quest and map you can see here that they're adding filters to show and hide objectives which is really nice there's going to be like a search option uh, the objective tracker is also getting a little bit of a refresh there as well just some general housekeeping and updates here which is really nice it's something that we haven't had in a long time so it just seems like the UI is like an ever going process uh, of updates and changes. But yeah, those are the two that we know about as of BlizzCon. No doubt there'll be more, of course. So yeah, there you go. That is what you can expect from the War Within pre patch. Of course, once we get into testing, I will do a full video of all of the features coming in the War Within pre patch. This is what we know so far. Looks like it's going to be a good one. As mentioned, Warbands, by far my most excited change. Can't wait for that to come in. I wish we could have it now, but we're going to have to wait till the summer until we can get into account wide everything. But very much looking forward to that some really good changes in this pre-patch and of course then shortly like maybe a month or so later we'll jump into the wall within which will have all the seasons the zones the earth and all that good stuff um, but of course the pre-patch is a very exciting time so guys thank you very much for watching if you like this video please do leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you want to support me outside of youtube i'm also on patreon and i'm on twitter at mr gmyt and i've got a partner discord channel as well and as mentioned i am streaming on twitch.tv slash mr gm if you see me stream what a warcraft dragonflight dragonflight vtr and more but everyone twitch.tv slash mr gm every single day and with that guys i'll see you next time